Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at some bale transporting and storage mods such as the bale transport semi with trailer you see in front of you there. It looks really cool. And some awesome bale storage facilities that include square and round bale storage. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to discuss a few things regarding these mods. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I'll set a few things up and test them on out for you. So let's get started. Okay, we'll start on over here with this awesome looking bale transport and matching trailer. This is called the Scania S flatbed and matching trailer version 1.0. File size for this is 140 megabytes. There's seven different engine sizes. The power ranges from 309 kilowatts and 420 horsepower all the way up to 537 kilowatts and 730 horsepower. Price in the shop as is is $114,080. Daily maintenance fee of $560, has a max speed of 82 kilometers an hour. Capacity is 24 square bales and it is multicolor as well. And the mirrors are also multicolor. We'll now go over the trailer. The trailer, the price in the shop is $11,800 with a $10 a day maintenance fee. The capacity is also 24 square bales. This trailer is multicolor and there's two rim choices to choose from in the shop. So. Before we take a look at that, we'll just run over to the shop real quick here. That's going to be located under trucks. And there it is over at the end. And yeah, look at all the different things you can choose from here. Seven different engine sizes, guys. All the way up to 730. Main color, you got all them colors to choose from. You can change all this stuff. And yeah, you can change the mirror color as well. So, very, very cool. Now the only downside with this guys, it's not auto load. I know that's going to be a big deal for some people. Some people won't mind. But I have the Traverse Container mod over here. Now I'll show you this. Some people might be familiar with this. This is an easy way to load those type trailers because it can lift it all up and put it right on there. Now I'll leave the link down below for my review of this. This is a cool little mod here. So if you want to go about it that way you can almost auto load it so yeah you can see I got 24 bales there and 24 there so we'll try that out in a second so let's jump on inside start it on up look at his hands okay fire up the lights one two two light settings try out the signal lights hazards everything works there out the horn oh yeah big old lad horn on it no beacons now I'm just gonna disconnect from the trailer for one second because I just want to test out the reverse and brake lights yes they work very nice okay, we can attach to this again and we'll take a look inside the cab nice very nice got a digital speedometer there. the mirrors work just fine Let's bring up the HUD there to see if there's any extra little things. Yes, you can lift the triaxle with this with uh, left shift and Z. You can also use the belts on it. Like I said, it is not auto low, but you can lock them down with the belts once you get them on there. But it holds 24 bales very comfortably, as well as the trailer. Okay, next up we get these awesome little storage units for your bales. This is the Square and Round Bale Storage Building's final version 1.0.2.0. File size for this is 21 megabytes and there's 9 silos in total in the shop. Square Bale Silos will cost you $42,000 with a $10 a day maintenance fee. The Round Bale Storage will cost you $38,000 with a $10 a day maintenance fee. Now the Square Bale Storage can hold up to 450 bales each, all grass, hay, straw and now silage. And the round ones can hold 500 bales, grass, hay, straw, and silage as well. Plus there's a cotton one that holds 55 bales. Now, if you've seen the cotton bales, they're a lot bigger than your average bales. So I actually reviewed some of these the other day. They're really cool little storage units, except they were kind of connected together. Now, the only thing with these is they're individual, and you're going to have to space them apart, unless you have that place anywhere, mod. But let me take you over to the shop. This is located over on placeables. We're over to the end. So they're all individual here. There's the ones I reviewed the other day. These are like three connected square ones. Grass bales. 
hay bales. There's no cotton on this map, so I can't test it out. Straw bales and silage bales down the end. So the only one I didn't lay out is the cotton one. By the way, this is being reviewed on the Hobbs Farm map. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. We have a bunch of round bales here ready to be put into storage. So let's try this out. So like I said, it can hold 500 round bales. This thing holds 100, so it shouldn't be a problem. Let's try putting them there, see what happens. Beauty, look at that. Took them all right in. Very nice. I'm going to put the auto load on. Let's bring up my HUD. Okay, let's put these on round bales, which they are. We'll turn on the work. Turn on the auto load. There we go. At least with the individual ones, you don't have to worry about taking out the wrong ones. So, low it looks like you only take out 12 of these at a time. Okay, is it going right on? Good. Excellent. Okay, that's what we want it. So, yeah, once again, you can use the scroll wheel instead of clicking plus one every time. Just go on, scroll up until it hits 12, and just keep doing it. That's it. That works perfectly. Cool. Let's get out and check just to be sure. Yes, it is. Hopefully, I'm. Good enough there to go. Yes, look at that. That's awesome. Okay. So we'll try the same thing, taking it out. Alright. That worked out perfect. Okay. I'm just going to put the other ones in. I'm not going to bother taking them out, just to speed things along. Okay, let's give it a shot. Beautiful. So that works great, guys. Okay, let's go over and try the Traverse Tainer mod. To bring our semi over. I'm probably going to end up having to uh, time-lapse this. Just for time purposes. And... I will be right back. Okay, that took a little bit, but we did get, eventually get them on there. Okay, let's get these. Okay, look at that, guys. 24, or 48 bales, actually. Let's see how it handles with this in it. 
very nice yeah it's the only downside it doesn't auto load but it packs the bales really nice and like I said if you're interested in that mod there it's called oh no oh that looked like it was almost gonna flip back over there oh well I'll have to leave that guy there for now <laughs> so there you have it guys that was the Scania S flatbed and matching trailer version 1.0. The file size for that is 140 megabytes. Then we took a look at the square and round bale storage buildings final version 1.0. The file size for that was only 21 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on that right there in the middle of your screen. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below if you'd like to help contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.